Hi guys, welcome to Music Theory Grade 3, Part 2, in which we're going to be discussing key signatures, scales, and tone degrees. Now, much of what we're going to be doing, we've already learned in Grade 1 and 2, so please make sure that you have watched those videos. Okay, key signatures. In Grades 1 and 2, we've learned key signatures with up to 3 flats and 3 sharps. In Grade 4, we're just going to add one more sharp and one more flat. So there's a treble clip with four sharps and a treble clip with four flats. I've given you tables showing you the sharp keys and the flat keys and exactly which, which key has how many sharps and which sharps there are. So G major would have one sharp and F sharp. D major two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. A major three, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. E major 4, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Okay, for the flat keys, F major has one flat, B flat. B flat major has two flats, B flat and E flat. E flat major has three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And A flat major has four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Okay, so really, you've learned all of these except for E major and A flat major. So those are the ones to concentrate on. Now remember we've learned that every key has a relative major and a relative minor. So the minors are always three semitones below the relative major. And I've said before, I find it really useful to picture a piano or keyboard when working out the relatives. Um, in the beginning you might not just be able to picture a keyboard, so draw one or print one out that you can keep with you. Okay, so remember in grade two I said that you can work out any relative minor by going down two node names and then going back to the tonic and going down three semitones. Okay, so for example, C major, if you're trying to find the relative minor, go down two note names and it's A. You go down three semitones, one, two, three, it's A. Okay, the, the reason I would say go down two note names first is because, for example, if we were looking at A major, trying to find the relative minor, if we just go down three semitones, one, two, three, we land on this black note, which is either F sharp or G flat. Okay, now when it comes to key signatures, it's very important that it's either F sharp or G flat. They're not really the same thing in terms of key signatures. So first we go down two note names, one, two, we land on F. Then we go down three semitones, one, two, three. So we know that is actually F sharp, it is not G flat, which makes sense as A major has sharps and we couldn't have a G flat major with sharps in the key signature. That just wouldn't make sense. So A major's relative minor is F sharp minor. Okay, let's do one more example. Um, let's use D major. So we're gonna go down two note names one, two, we get to B, and three semitones, one, two, three, so B. D major's relative minor is B natural. Okay, let's just do one more. So B major, we'll go down two note names, A, G, and then we'll go back and go down three semitones, one, two, three. So we know it is in fact G sharp minor. So B major's relative minor is G sharp minor. Okay, here are all your key signatures up to four sharps in both the treble and the bass clef. So please take some time to look at these and make sure that you can accurately write exactly where each sharp must go because it is important that these sharps are always written correctly. You cannot write this one down here. It needs to be up here. The second one needs to fall on this space. Third one needs to fall on this space. Okay, so really make sure that you're able to write them in the treble clef and the bass clef. And here are your flats, also in the treble clef and the bass clef, up to four flats. So make sure that you're able to write and identify exactly which key has how many flats in both the treble clef and the bass clef.
Okay, so you're expected to know major and minor scales up to four sharps and four flats. Remember that scales always begin and end on the note they're named for. So G major will always start on a G and end on a G. C major will always start on a C and end on a C. Also remember to add the correct accidentals when writing scales without key signatures. So if you're asked to write a D major scale without a key signature, remember that D major has to have an F sharp and a C sharp. Okay, if you are writing the key signature, please write it correctly. I know I've said this before, but you really need to learn to write these key signatures accurately. In minor scales, we need to remember to sharpen the seventh note. And remember that if the note is a flat from the key signature, for example, um, C minor, there is a, a B flat and C minor's key signature, then the B doesn't become a sharp, it'll get a natural because really what we're doing is we're just raising the seventh note. We're not necessarily sharpening it, we're raising it by a semitone. So if it's got a flat next to it, then to raise it a semitone, it becomes a natural and we're going to put a natural sign next to it. Okay, so we've got C major, our easiest scale, which has no sharps or flats, and A minor, which has a raised seventh, so a G sharp. Okay, G major and E minor we've learned before. D major and B minor we've learned before. And you can see in the minors, of course, they're the raised seventh. A major and F sharp minor we've learned before. F major and D minor we've learned before. And even though these are flat keys, we do have the raised seventh of the C sharp. B flat major, G minor we've learned with two flats. And E flat major and C minor we've learned. Okay, and this is what I was talking about, raising the seventh with a natural, because in this key signature there is a B flat. So we need to raise the seventh by adding a natural to it, just by to raise it a semitone. Okay, so our new scales would be E major, which has four sharps, and C sharp minor, which has four sharps and of course the raised seventh. A flat major with four flats, and F minor with four flats, and again the raised seventh, cancelling that E flat by making it a natural. Okay, so these are your two or your four new scales. So learn these well. Okay, in grade three, you might be expected to know a new type of ma minor scale. So the one we've learned so far is called the harmonic minor scale. Now we have to learn the melodic minor scale and it's really not difficult. It's essentially the same as the harmonic minor scale, but we just add a raised sixth as well as the raised seventh. And then on the way down, we take away those raised notes. So you can see in the harmonic minor scale, we have that raised seventh on the way up and the way down. Now in the melodic minor scale, on the way up, we're going to raise the sixth and the seventh. And then on the way down, we're going to lower them again. So we use those natural signs to lower them by a semitone. So one more time, harmonic minor scale, we just have that raised seventh. But if we want a melodic minor scale, we're going to raise the sixth as well as the seventh. And then on the way down, we're going to lower them again. Okay, so essentially on the way down, it has no accidentals. So we know that A minor's relative major would be C major. And on the way down, it really has exactly the same key signature with no accidentals as C major, which has no sharps or flats. Okay, so on the way up, we raise six and seven, and on the way down, it it stays true to the key signature, and we lower six and seven. Okay, I did go through this in grade two, but we're going to do it again. We're going to look at the formula to scales, because I do know that the more key signatures and scales you have to learn, it kind of gets trickier to remember 
what key has how many flats or how many sharps. So there is a formula that we can use to work them out. Of course it is far easier and quicker if you don't need to use the formula but it's good to understand anyway and if you do get stuck you can always use this formula to find out key signatures or scales. Okay so we're going to be working the formula using whole tones and semitones. Now basically in each whole tone there are two semitones which is why they're sometimes called whole steps and half steps. So between neighboring notes there's generally a semitone. Okay so neighboring notes I'm talking anything right next to each other. Between C and D there is a whole tone because they have this black note next to them. E and F are neighboring notes. They don't have a black note in between them. And so there is a semitone between them. But F and G, they have this black note between them. And so they are a whole tone. Okay. So in each whole tone, there are two semitones. In this picture, we can see that the black keys form semitones between the white keys. Except for E and F, there is no black key. And between B and C, there is no black key. So E to F is a whole tone. And B to C is, uh, sorry, E to F is a semitone. And B to C is a semitone. Okay, but notes like C to D, that's a whole tone. Or even C sharp to D sharp, that's a whole tone. E to F sharp, that's a whole tone. Okay, so how does our formula go? Well, for a major scale, it goes whole tone, whole tone, semitone. Whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. And once we've worked out our scale, we can really work out any key signature by just noting what accidentals are used. Okay, so let's start with C major. I'm going to take away the scale, and we're going to work it out using the formula. Okay, so I said it was whole tone, whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. So let's work out, starting on C, a whole tone above is D. A whole tone above that is E. Then we need the semitone, E to F. Then a whole tone, F to G. A whole tone, G to A. A whole tone, A to B. And then the semitone, B to C. So you can see that whole tone, whole tone, semitone. Whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. And this is why C major has no sharps or flats. Because just using these white notes, we can make up the correct formula. Okay, let's use another scale that does have some accidentals. Let's try D major. Okay, so we go whole tone, whole tone. So E to F sharp would be the whole tone. Start again, whole tone from D, D to E, whole tone. Another whole tone, E to F sharp. So we already know that D major must have an F sharp. Then semitone, down to G. Whole tone, G to A. Whole tone, A to B. Whole tone, B to C sharp. And then semitone, C sharp to D. One more time. So we go D to E, whole tone. E to F sharp, whole tone. F sharp to G, semitone. G to A, whole tone. A to B, whole tone. B to C sharp, whole tone, and C sharp to D, semitone, which is why D major scale has an F sharp and a C sharp, and why D major key signature would have an F sharp and a C sharp. Okay, so we can see that by using this formula of whole tone, whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone, we can really figure out any scale, whether we were to start on F or A, just by using this formula, we would know exactly what accidentals were in each scale. Okay, we can do the same thing for the harmonic minor scales. The formula for harmonic minors goes whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone, and then whole tone plus a semitone, which is really like three semitones, and then semitone. 
Okay, so the reason why we have this whole tone plus the semitone thing is because remember that seventh needs to be raised. Okay, but having said that, if we're trying to work out a key signature, we're going to need to lower this again just because we know that the raised seventh isn't included in the key signature. Okay, so in our minds, we're just going to take this and flatten it again so that in, we don't try and include a raised seventh in the key signature. Okay, so let's try and work it out. We're going to use A minor. So using this formula, starting on A, we're going to go whole tone to B, and then semitone from B to C. Okay, then we need a whole tone, C to D, a whole tone, D to E, a semitone, E to F, then this whole tone plus a semitone thing, so we're going to go three semitones up, which would be G sharp, and then a semitone to A. Okay, so we know that A minor just has one sharp, and it is a G sharp. But if we were writing the key signature, then we need to remember to lower this again, because we've only raised the seventh after the key signature should be written. So our key signature for A minor would have no sharps or flats but we would have a raised seventh. Okay, let's try for D minor scale. Okay, so we're going to go D to E is a whole tone. E to F is a semitone. F to G is the whole tone. G to A is the whole tone. Then we need to do a semitone, so we'd go to B flat. And then we need to do this whole tone plus a semitone thing, so that's really three semitones. One, two, three, to C sharp, and then a semitone to D. Okay, so we said D minor had a B flat and a C sharp. But we remember that the C sharp is the raised seventh, so not included in the key signature. So it'll have a B flat in the key signature. So really, D minor scale has one flat and it's a B flat. Okay, we can see that here. If this was to have a key signature, it would be the same key signature as F major with just one flat. Okay, now in grade two and three, you need to know all the technical names of the tone degrees, which we did learn in, in grade two, but I'll quickly revise them with you. So remember, we have the tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submediant, and leading note. Okay, so let's say we are in D major. Okay, the tonic would be D. Supertonic would be the second note, which would be E. The median would be F sharp. The subdominant would be G. The dominant would be A. The submediant would be B. And the leading note or leading tone would be C sharp. Okay, we can see that here in C major scale. The tonic is C, the supertonic is D, median E, subdominant F, dominant G, submediant A, leading tone B, and then the C would be the tonic again, even though it's at the octave. Okay, so basically what these tone degrees really mean, it's just the degrees of the scale. So let's say we're in C major, we look at C major scale, and then work out the degrees. So the first degree would be the tonic, the second degree would be the supertonic, etc.